welcome to my channel guys today i'm gonna show you guys where we're at a year later with our tumble drum fish scaler that we purchased from the bass pro shops so far so good actually with our tumble drum but we have this right here the clip that has broken off that was actually the first thing that fell off and that fell off uh, almost a year ago my husband said it fell off a week after he started using his scaler so he thinks that it's a design flaw that caused it to fail so his cure for that is using a small bungee cord so he'll attach it to the door hook it up to the side of the drum and then like that it should keep the door closed so we're gonna go ahead and put some fish in here we're gonna keep it at about 12 between 12 and 15 fish and that way we don't overfill it because we want a descaled fish so the more you overfill it the more likely you are to have fish that were not properly descaled so don't ever overfill the drum by the way, in case you're wondering how we caught so many fish, oh my gosh, we went to the lake and it was just back to back nonstop. I'm going to show you a quick clip in a minute. So we're attaching the drum here now. And so this is the second design flaw that he's come across is this gap right here. Once you lay the drum in position, there's a small gap right there, as you can see. So what he uses as a cure for this uh, he he looked for the closest thing he could find, which is an old doorstop, which was the perfect size to fit into that gap. And so that's what he keeps in there to hold it in position. So that way the drum doesn't fall out because the drum used to fall out before he um, used this to cure it. So, yes, we absolutely have to rig this bad boy up. We love this scaler. This scaler is still working very well and we still absolutely love it so let's get this started I'll point right here and as you can see it's not coming out Uh-oh, Houston, we have a problem. Our bungee came loose. So, <laughs> we um apparently need to tighten the bungee. So we're going to go ahead and get that back on there as best as we can. Trying to make sure that we get that secure, tight fit. Having these minimal issues with this fish scaler is still worth having this fish scaler we love this fish scaler and would not trade it it saves us so much time We're trying to get it into one of the smaller holes hoping that it'll keep it in there more securely but we can't get that in so we're just going to put it back into one of the big holes it's still a nice and tight fit and it doesn't come off again I think the tighter it is the better you know what I mean yeah So now at the end of our seven minutes, we're going to open it up and then pour out the fish.
A clue that you've had your fish in there too long is the mouth. If it gets all chopped up and looks chewed up, that's when the fish have been in there too long. Sometimes when the bigger fish are in there with the smaller fish, uh, the smaller fish tend to have the messed up mouths, but that's just a small clue that they might have been in there for too long. Okay, we're going to go again with our fish scaler. We got pretty decent descaled fish. So we've descaled, now we're going to gut, and then we're going to freezer Ziploc bag some of them, and then we're going to season some of them to eat for the night. We're going to fry them up because that's the only way I like my fish is fried. Put it down. Put it down. Get your other one. Okay. Get your other pole. Get your other pole. 